Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Margareta, aka the Maggie, and you're still. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, feel free to hit the subscribe button if you've always been loyal. Thank you. Um, so this video is gonna be about back to school makeup. It's gonna be a quick back to school makeup tutorial. So first off, I'm starting with my primer, Too Faced, and I'm just you know putting it all over my face and a little bit on my neck as well. And then next I'm going with my foundation, Born This Way by Too Faced. Um, this foundation is in mahogany. Um, so basically, I'm just going to blend it into my skin. You know, what you do with your foundation, you blend it in. A little while because I was trying to make sure it blended in well. You got your food? Wow, fine girl. Yeah, that was just my friend hyping me up. Uh huh. That's right. One eternity later. But yeah, so I keep on blending it and blending it and blending it to get that, you know, perfect blend. And then I go in with my concealer. I just put it underneath my eye, my, um, the bridge of my nose. And I kind of force it a little bit while applying this concealer. Honestly, depending on what you want to do, just go for it. Just go with the flow. Um, and that's basically what I did. So after putting the concealer where it needs to be, I just go in and blend it out. You know? Play Summer Love. Are you talking to me? Yeah. Am I Alexa? Alexa, play Summer Love. Friend and I were being goofy, so just ignore that. Anyway, so I'm gonna go in to contour my face. I'm gonna go in with the darkest shade, and I'm just gonna use a, a semi fluffy brush and just apply it. This is not how I contour my face um, whenever I do my makeup every time, though. What that means is, depending on what occasion that I'm going to, um, determines how my makeup is gonna be. So, since this is just going to class. Um, I don't have to go all out for the contour, I don't have to go all out for the concealer or eyeshadow or whatever. It's just, it's just a neutral makeup. I just don't want it to seem like I don't have anything on my face at all. So I just, you know, just gently go in with like the contour or concealer or highlighter. But then at the same time, it doesn't mean you can't go all out. Okay, girl, if what you know how to do best is going all out with your makeup, Girl, you go ahead and do you. Whatever it is that you decide to do, just make sure you're blending it in and everything is blended in. Because you don't want to go out looking like, uh, you know, foundation is not matching your neck or things like that. No, we don't want that. So next, I'm going in with my Too Faced translucent setting powder. Basically just applying it to every area that I concealed with my concealer. So that is underneath my eye, the bridge of my nose, my chin, and right now I'm counter contouring, which is I am making the area that I contoured more obvious by putting the setting powder underneath where I contoured, if that makes sense. And um, to add a little bit of color, I'm going for subtle reddish pink eyeshadow. This is definitely optional. Only problem though. <laughs> <laughs> was the fact that I put eyeshadow before I even do my eyebrows but that's okay these things happen yeah all you just need to do is know how to work your way around it you know you you mess up you go ahead go back to that mess up and turn that mess up into something good that's probably way deeper than I expected it to be but it's the truth if you mess up you take your mistakes go back to it look at what you did wrong and then work your way around it and make sure you don't do that thing wrong again but then at the same time it doesn't mean the way you did it was wrong it's just a different way of doing it so what i realized was i did my eyeshadow first before i did my brows but that didn't mean it messed up my brows it also didn't mean that i messed up my um eyeshadow either so the thing is there's not one way to go through life okay i'm about to be deep again there's not one way to go through life everybody's saying okay you got to do this and then do that and then do that your life might be different your journey might be different you don't have to follow that same protocol as long as it gets you to the end point okay do you achieve your goals at the end does your goal 
um, get accomplished at the end. It doesn't matter how it's done. As long as you get there, it doesn't matter how long it takes as long as you get there. So this, while this happened, I was just trying to relate this to that. And I was like, wow, that's actually true because usually I would do my eyebrows first and then go and do my eyeshadow. But this was actually a mistake and I started to think about it like, wow, I guess it wasn't a mistake after all. I just needed to see this in a different, in a different point of view, you know, as long as you get to your goal. Another thing is it depends on the perspective you have. I could have been like, okay, I messed it up. I'm going to have to redo this again. But I didn't. I just kept going. So if you're going through a bump and then you say, okay, this is difficult. Well, I, I, I give up. Then you're never going to get to your end point. You're never going to get to where you're going. When you fail, doesn't mean you have to give up. Just keep going. All right, enough of the deep talk. I'm done now. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just using a bigger brush and just dusting off all the excess powder from my face, you know, from my forehead, my under eye, and the place that I also count contoured. So now I am going in with my mascara and I'm just putting mascara on my lashes. And um, I tried to learn a technique from Jackie Ina. Um, you know how when you're putting your mascara on your eyelashes and you're like, trying to fix your mouth a certain way and your mouth is like literally going in the direction you're putting in your mascara she talked about how you should try to put on mascara without doing those things so i tried it and i did pretty good we all know that practice makes perfect didn't it so moving on i am just putting some glitter in my under eye and i'm also putting glitter um underneath my brows you know to give it that shine and make my makeup pop just literally make it seem like I did a lot more work than I actually did mind you I did work but you know just make it seem like I did a lot more ain't nothing wrong with that <laughs> so right now I'm using artist couture Jackie Ida um her highlighter in La Beach I love this highlighter this highlighter is literally my go-to all day every day like I could literally get up from bed put on mascara without foundation and just put on this highlighter I love this highlighter it's just it's just the best so yeah I use it every day every day all day every day and I think they were like $28 worth it worth it for me um so yeah just putting highlighter everywhere that I want to go you know which is everywhere <laughs> literally I it's gonna get to a point where I put it around my neck too so watch out for that um now I am going in with my lip gloss. This lip gloss is from Leek, Leek Cosmetics. There was a time I did a video on some lipsticks that I got from Leek. This lip gloss is one of them. I've been using the lipstick and this lip gloss. They're bomb. They're, they're very good ingredients. They're so good. Yeah, this is the part where I'm literally putting highlighter on my neck. <laughs> so yeah, um, this is basically... Basically the finished product, the finished look. Well, yeah, finished product, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is basically what I look like after the makeup. Um, the last thing I did was, oh, God. <laughs> Y'all were not supposed to see that. But anyway, the last thing I did was set my face with a setting spray. And in the beginning, if y'all remember, I used a sunscreen. And that sunscreen is totally optional, totally optional. I mean, you should be using sunscreen on your face, especially in the summer. If you go to summer school, sometimes during the fall too, because, you know, the sun shines bright. All year round, sometimes, no? Okay, anyway, moving on. Sunscreen is optional. That brings us to the end of this video. Feel free to like and comment. Until my next video, bye guys.